Gretna Van Sleet is an 80-something Bill Simmer player and Tiny Frankenmuth, Mish, who had, at least until recently, avoided national attention. In the early 2010s, local brothers Josh, Sam, and Jake Kiska, who formed the core of the four-piece rock band about to play its first big show, decided to name the group after Van Fleet, though they did not know her. They converted Gretna to Greta because it flowed better. And though they weren't thinking about it at the time, the change will also help in sidestepping any copyright issues that might have presented themselves as the band gets bigger. And it will almost Certainly get bigger Greta Van Fleet has only released two studio eps Black Smoke Rising in April of this year, and From the Fires, this month, but is getting the kind of high hard rock bands in 2017 almost never get. The song, Highway Tune, went to number one on iTunes. Shows are sold out everywhere. Even Greta Van Fleet is doing interviews. To many critics and fans, the quartet is the future of rock. And its past the sound is a lot like circa 1972 Led Zeppelin, all at the same time, in separate phone conversations from the Southern Tennessee studio where they're currently recording. Bassist Sam Kiska and frontman Josh Kiska whose twin brother, Jake, is the band's guitarist, talked about the rise of Greta and Gretna Van Fleet. The following are edited excerpts. From that conversation and why Greta Van Fleet may wind up being a complicated name to have Sam Kiska usually the story is people kept telling me to listen to you. But I thought it was some kind of country singer, some kind of Taylor Swift kind of thing, or some solo female artist. But it couldn't be more far off. Josh Kiska, the first big gig we had, her name was on the marquee. And people started calling her up. She played the dull simmer, and they thought she was playing a show. She came down with her husband, and she gave us the go-ahead. For someone in her 80s to sit through a blasting rock and roll show was pretty cool. It went over so well, at the end of the show she came up, and we all took pictures together. She was sweet. On being brothers in a band together, which can also be complicated Josh we are not always going to get along. But being brothers, it's easier to get over something much quicker. That's another thing we've learned, a lesson from history. Bands with brothers have been infamous for going at it all the time. That was a lot of what we did early on, and after a while, it made no sense. It's a matter of saying, this isn't worth arguing about. We'll just save that for later. Sam, that's due to our roots and how we were raised family first, friends first. It's a great bond, and I think we understand each other really well. On being the latest band tasked with saving rock and rollish, I theorize it has something to do with the fact that we're making rock and roll that's different from the rock and roll people are making now. It's been a privilege to go out and make exactly the music we want, exactly the way we want it, and people are receiving it well. Sam Rock doesn't need any saving. There's already a bunch of guys out there doing really great stuff. They paved the way for what we are doing now. There's lots of great stuff out there. You've just gotta dig for it. I don't think rock ever died, but it's definitely not the most popular genre. There was a time when nobody listened to anything but rock and roll. Now it's hip-hop. On the earliest days of Greta Van Fleet, Josh, I was 16. And Sam and Danny were 13, that was the first year of being a real entity. These days, we communicate in non-verbal ways, and each of us is a fan of each other's work. There's a lot of love put into the music. It's a complicated thing. I'm not sure I could see it from the inside. Sam, I don't know anything else but music and high school. Every weekend ever since 8th grade, we would play in bars and stuff. By the end of senior year, me and Daniel skipped pretty much the entire last month. We were literally checked out. The turning point for us was releasing the debut EP and Highway Tune going to know. 1. It was just overwhelming. It's the same thing we've been doing for five years. Not much has changed, except we are better. Allison Stewart is a freelancer. On the town at ChicagoTribune.com, Twitter at Chitribent, 8 p.m. Thursday where Lincoln Hall, 2424 North Lincoln Avenue. Tickets sold out www.lhst.com related solo Sam's inspired by 
His view from the outside, a Thanksgiving weekend stuffed with jazz, replicant claims that it ISNT trying to change the world, but